night, an intense search for a missing woman in the foothills comes up empty. Now the case is in the hands of detectives to figure out what to do next. Pima County Sheriff's Department brought in every resource they, they have available to Sunrise Presidio Village north of River near Craycroft. This is a picture of 62-year-old Anne Marie Pardo. You'll see it in just a second. She has been missing since yesterday morning. Now your side's Valerie Cavazos joins us live near Pardo's home with the very latest. Valerie. Now, right now, I'm near Anne Marie Pardo's home. It's just up the street, and, uh, you know, it's quiet now. We were not able to get up this far before. As I said, it is quiet now, uh, so different than it was hours ago. The sheriff's department tells me that they put everything they had into this search. The search by air started early, circling the area high and low for hours. On the ground, ATVs brought in to comb the washes. Volunteers set out on foot to canvas the tougher terrain. And to cover more ground, searchers rode off on horseback. Even the Pinal County Sheriff's Office sent help. We have a, a, a human remains dog as well as uh, just uh, dogs that um, search for uh, off of scent. Detectives interviewed family members and neighbors of Anne Marie Pardo, the director of life management at Canyon Ranch. Nano said her cell phone and keys were left behind. No one had seen her in or near her home or at work. She had missed some important appointments. She had some important meetings to attend, is my understanding. Um, she failed to make those meetings, and they, uh, according to those we've talked to, that's very unusual for her. She's very responsible and um, uh, just. That's outside her norm. Prado's husband, Richard Warbo, called the sheriff's department after his wife went missing for 24 hours. But Nanos says he should have called sooner. 24 hours doesn't mean anything to us. If you have that inkling that somebody needs assistance, call us. Okay. Let us decide how hard to look for and what resources to deploy. 50 to 6 people were out here searching for her, and they covered about a half-mile radius, radius, and they are confident that she is not here. If you have any information, you're asked to call the Sheriff's Department or 911. Reporting from the Foothills, Valerie Cavazos, Kagan 9 on your side. All right.